This is the Ashanti region. In this beautiful reserve lies a hidden cathedral not built by man, a dam which was and still is crucial to the survival of the Kumasi metropolis, but in what way? And speaking of survival, this hostel we stayed in uses its profits to provide skills training for women in Kumasi all for free. And we found out why our friends prefer their city to Accra. Many J Kumasi more than Accra because Accra is too busy. Kumasi, I don't know the vibe, it's peaceful, it's quiet, it's... All in this episode of... But first, let's make our way there, shall we? We got a few snacks on the road. And yeah. Expected, but we made it early enough and arrived to some delicious lunch. Jojo immediately decided to get acquainted with the space while I explored the happenings on the compound with camera in hand. Watch yourself, huh? You make it look good. The next morning, we took it easy after breakfast and had a chill few hours before lunch. Although to me it's in the city, it's green and you can do your morning or evening yoga in the garden, a nook that you can chill and read or just relax. And my favorite design addition to the space is this working space with natural lights coming through the roof and of course, a spacious room with a bathroom as well as shared hostel spaces if you will. Um, yeah, so I came to Ghana the first time for an internship, so I was staying with a host family just outside of Kumasi. Yeah. And then um, I saw so many girls who want to do things, but they just have very few options. Yeah. And so then I came up with this idea like we should find a way for them to learn a trade so they can earn their own money and not be depending on men, as happens a lot of times in the outskirts of the city. Yeah. And um, then also there was no hostel in Kumasi yet, so always when I needed some time with people to stay yeah, somewhere just exactly. for short it will have to be a hotel and that's a yeah expensive. exactly yeah and i wasn't and also to meet people you know a hostel is also a nice place to meet people, people so yeah. uh, i always when i wanted that i would go to accra for the weekend which is quite far you know for just a weekend yeah. so then i was like okay that's really a gap in the market there as well so then uh, i just combined the two and that uh, created to hostel with uh, the school yeah and so how long ago was this so, uh, this is like seven eight years ago and wow. so I started, and then I stayed a little bit longer, I wrote the whole plan, went back to fundraise, and then I started it six years ago. That's what I'm like, oh. why Kumasi? Why like? Kumasi? Oh, You could uh, have been Accra, I mean. Accra is too busy. Kumasi, I don't know, the vibe, it's peaceful, it's quiet, it's, it's, yeah, it's not quiet, but it's like... It's not like Accra. Yeah, it's not like Accra, it's like a big village. It's like a big village. Yeah, that. that it's That's like how you big, describe Kumasi. It's yeah, like, it's a, like a yeah. big, and there's more green and. Yeah. Yeah, people are not like they see you, but they don't really bother too much about you. Yeah. Yeah, it's like city, but still big village. Yeah. yeah. So basically, when you choose Tumi, which you should, it's in the center of the city with the mall, stadium, airport, and other essential locations close by. One of the ways to meet people at a hostel is Tumi style of communal eating. You put your name on the board for the supper of the day and it's served at 7 p.m. sharp. The garifoto and fish we had was so good, it was done before we could film it. And whatever you spend at Tumi, the profit goes into providing skills training for women to help them make a living. You can also buy some of the many beautiful artifacts made right there by these women. On our itinerary that day was getting lunch with my friend Angelina, who took us to one of Kumasi's best spots for food. I mean, it's almost sacrilege not to try for food when you are in Kumasi. Well, they would like to live for a 
be too high. Too high? High. High. Nah. Kumasi the beef. What what's the what it make Kumasi? Who know the cost, right? Did you chop finish? Yeah. How much it cost? Well, I mean I would have paid like double that in a crowd. Double that. Double. The food, everything what? One eight. Yeah. And Ipa four. Ipa four. Yeah. You chop good, you chop tilapia, you chop salmon, you chop. But beef. you can compare because what's Nakara? Mm-hmm. Mm. You said in Nakara when? Uh, 2016 to 2017 Next on our itinerary was the Owabi Bird Sanctuary, about 23 kilometers out of the city, and yeah, not an easy find. Here in Pacho, you call a Owabi Forest Reserve in Oeva? Owabi Forest Reserve, I am It's Hansi. It's Hansi. Hansi, Owabi. We grew on my old bedroom station, Owabi. It's Hansi station, Tijansha, on your right. Tibefa right. Right, right. Owabi Wildlife Sanctuary is the smallest of four wildlife protected areas in Ghana. It is 13 square kilometers in size and lies approximately 23 kilometers northwest of Kumasi. It has an inner sanctuary of about 7 kilometers which surrounds the lake formed by the damming of the Owabi River in 1928. It is home to many butterflies, over 140 species of birds, monkeys, bush pig, and even antelope. Until the construction of the Barikese Dam in 1971, Owabi was the only source of water to Kumasi. But now, it only provides about one-third of water to the Kumasi metropolis. The Owabi Sanctuary is great for picnicking, bird-watching, hiking, observing monkeys, boating, and recreational fishing as well. One of our favorite beauties in this forest had to be the Bamboo Cathedral. Simply enthralling. We left to me, we decided to spend a night at the lake Bosom Tree. Good morning. We are on our way to Lake Bosom Tree. We just got some extra formula because that's the responsible parents we are. And you can help me put one foot in front of the other. Visit to Kumasi. Do catch us again in our next episode of Travel With Us.